welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing a gel polish inky set using my bling line soak off gel polishes so i've got all the tips are going to have two coats of isla which is the white um so i've got these neon inks um i love these so much <laughs> they're amazing and they're so bright i'm going to use a few of these today with some of the other inks that i've already got to create some halloween designs um give them a good shake before you use them so i like to apply my inks over a matte top coat so i'm going to use the matte top finish this one cures with a tacky layer so you do need to make sure you wipe off that tacky layer before you go on with the inks i prefer putting inks on a matte top coat because i find that when i then come to top coat the inks after i'm happy with how they look sometimes i've found that if i do it on a um, if i do it on a glossy top coat sometimes when i come to top coat over that the ink smears so i find it doesn't do that if i put it over matte top coat so when it comes out the lamp you're going to have to wipe off the tacky layer so using some cleanse cleanser just wipe off that tacky layer and then you see you're left with this really gorgeous matte finish. So this is where we're gonna we're gonna put our inks on top of that matte top coat. I think I've said that about five times. Uh, so you, here you can see me shaking the the bottles. Um, it, they do have little balls inside to mix up the pigments. So um, just make sure that the yeah just make sure the balls are flying about inside the liquid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but look how amazing this orange is oh my goodness it was so bright i don't think it's doing it any justice on camera but it's beautiful i'm going to add a little bit of the orange as well not the neon orange just the normal orange and i'm not gonna because this one is quite pigment it's it's I mean they're all quite pigmented that's probably a silly word that's not the right word but i didn't want to put too much of the dark orange i wanted to leave the um the more neon orange on there as well and you can just sort of play between the colors add more of each color or less of each color and you can use the gel cleanse as well to go over the nail and just move that ink where you want it i um forgot to press record after this bit so you're going to see that using the cleanse and um a little it's an old brush that i've got um i have removed some of the ink here i started oh no I, yeah i started to remove some of the ink but um my doorbell went or something happened i can't remember it might have been my dad my dad might have rang actually um but you can see i've just removed a little bit of the ink to create some eyes and a nose um you don't really have to do it for the nose but i wanted the eyes to be a little bit whiter so yeah i removed some of that so i'm using the black bling line gel paint to add some detail to this now so this i was going for more more of a pumpkin vibe but not necessarily a pumpkin but i've just sort of added a kind of car i want like you know like a carved out look that's kind of what i was going for for this one you can't see because i'm out of shot <laughs> there's always at some point i go out of shot um so yeah so we're gonna add eyes and oh, bring it down Nats. there we go and then two pupils not not uh, not little children learning eye pupils obviously silly thing to say um and then we're gonna go in oops just want my ipad um we're gonna then do the nose i always find creepy noses have to have a a big nostril and a kind of slightly smaller nostril i don't know why i always i always find so this side's going to be the big i mean this is a massive nostril oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> that's your big nostril you got there um <laughs> and then this is going to be the little one but i always find them noses really creepy i don't know what it is about them i just do um, and then we're going to add the uh, the mouth, the mouth. <laughs> Just yeah, fill in the nostrils. So the mouth is just going to be a smiley smiley mouth, and then we're going to add almost like you would 
just like lots of little lines but quite compact you can make it like an open mouth or I kept my line quite thin but you can make it thicker if you want it to look like the mouth is more open um, yeah and then just put lots of these little lines around the mouth I'll leave you to watch this I think he's looking positively spoopy now, don't you? So once you're happy, pop him in the lamp. I call it a him, it might be a her, I don't know. Then I want this one to be shiny, so I'm gonna use the tack free finish. Um, I'm gonna apply this all over the nail, obviously. This is the part where if I if I'd have done the inks on a on a glossy top coat, this is where I find that they smudge. And I find and like doing it on the matte top coat, I never get that. Um, so I, I don't know why I just prefer the look as well on a matte top coat But anyway cover the hole now make sure you you know haven't got any gaps or anything pop it in the lamp and give it a cure We're gonna move on to the next now now um, I'm going in with the neon green give it a good shake and I'm also using the plain green as well just the green and we're gonna do a Bit of a Frankenstein look how bright these are. I just I love these these are going to be amazing for summer. Oh my god. Not just summer. I mean, it's like autumn and I'm using them for Halloween. They're so versatile. And oh my goodness. Chris, could you have a neon Christmas nail? Well, you could do. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, spring, summer, autumn. What the heck? I'm sure we could do winter too. <laughs> right. Anyway, yeah. Again, I'm doing exactly what I did with the last two colours, the last orangey ones, but I'm doing it with the green. And yeah, if you want to, you can use a little bit of gel cleanse just to sort of blend the colours together a bit more. If you don't want to keep adding ink, I'm doing it with some gel cleanse here. I'm just, just sort of helps blend them together. Now, some inks are more easy to manipulate than others. Some of them I find... Uh, what's the word? They kind of stain more, if you know what I mean. Um, but some are, some are. It's really weird. You'll get to know, as you use inks, you'll get to know which ones are easier to manipulate than others. Um, but yeah, if you just, you can just keep doing this with the inks. You don't have to use the cleanse. I wanted it to be a little bit more brighter, so I, I went in with more neon. And I'm kind of happy with that now. So now I'm going to add... Uh, right, so we're going to do Frankenstein. So he needs hair. I don't know why, though, because... Oh, no, no, he'd have a wig, couldn't he? Frankenstein... Yeah, no, no. Why do I think he has to be bald? He's made up of lots of different body parts, isn't he? Which is really bizarre. So we're going to put the hair on. I mean, you can do his hair line any way you want. I just kind of... You know, I thought, well, let's just make it a bit messy. This is, this is Frankenstein with bedhead. No, bed hair. Is it bedhead or bed hair? Bedhead, isn't it? There we go. That's going to do. Then, um, I'm right, this is what i done with the pumpkin -y nail. Right, get a little bit gel cleanse. And if you just, in the area where you want it, it kind of just moves the ink out the way. You see? Now, some inks do this a lot easier than others. This one was quite easy to manipulate. So, you know, to remove. Um, the purple one at the end, that was a little bit more tricky. That was more of a, I don't know, I'm going to say it stains quicker. I don't know if that's the right terminology. I don't know. Anyway, right, so back to Frankenstein. We're going to give him eyeballs. So we're going to go around the area that we've just removed. So I've done this because I want the eyes to, to be more white and stand out a bit more. You could, you know, paint them on, but I, I don't see any point in painting them on. And then he needs pupils again. So because he's Frankenstein and he's made up of lots of different bits, I thought we could have one eye looking up <laughs> and one eye looking down. I don't know why. I just thought it's, it's a bit weird, isn't it, Frankenstein? There we go. Don't tell him I said that, otherwise he'll come and get me on, on Halloween night. <laughs> again, a little weird nose. 
and then like a squiggly mouth so up down up down something like that and then he needs stitches because he's stitched together so these are going to be like the other one but bigger like more apart there we go and then um we're gonna because the nail is really long um i'm gonna add two lots of stitches at the bottom obviously if you're doing this on a shorter nail you won't need to bother applying this bit or you could put like a little you could do this like maybe on his forehead or coming off his forehead just to add a little bit more detail you don't even have to do like the stitchy mouth because that's a bit weird because it's like now his mouth is stitched up which looks odd now i think about it anyway pop it in the lamp to cure it and i'm going to do this one shiny as well so we're going to use the tack free finish for this one again make sure you cover the whole nail the gel paint need to be cured for 60 seconds in your bling line lamp there we go and then again this will need to be cured for 60 seconds i was just making sure i got the sides because sometimes i miss the sides pop that in the lamp i love the, the look that the ink gives you i think it's brilliant so this time i'm going to use the red and the neon pink they, look at look isn't this look, another bright one i suppose they're neon i don't know what i expect but you know neons are going to be bright i think they i think they oh i love them i'm i love them just saying i love them um, I'm going to go back in then with the red one. So this one I was thinking more blood, vampire-y kind of thing. And blood drips seem to be quite popular for Halloween. So I thought we'd do some kind of drips. But I'm going to add a little bit of glitter on this one. And we, yeah. Oh, if you find, yeah. I'm just, I like to wipe the brush off on some paper towel. If like it's got like red on it. I don't want to contaminate the, the, the colours so because the red is a, quite a lot darker than the pink i just sort of wiped it off before i popped it back in the pot bottle so this one ended up a little bit more pink than i had thought though using neon pink is going to be more pink so i mean it doesn't matter it's absolutely fine i'm going to add some drips before i go on with the top coat so i just add like a little almost like um i was going for a more oval shape but it might have looked more round and then i'm going to do a straight line up and then i'm gonna just this bit here i'm gonna make this slightly thicker here uh, i hope i'm making sense so yeah we go it looks like a drip drips only get bigger <laughs> that's what my other half says to me when it's raining now says, oh, i don't want to go out because it's raining he says oh don't worry drips only get bigger <laughs> like, oh cheers what are you trying to say <laughs> so we're gonna do a few of these and they're going to be different lengths so where the kind of the drip it, you you kind of want to make it a little bit thicker at the ball and then at the ball at the ball end and then thinner at the top i think that's right yeah so i'm going to do a couple more i'll let you watch this bit And then to finish it off you're gonna go over the top and then just add little arches between the drips and this just makes it look a little bit more drippy <laughs> so technical okay it looks like an icing dripping off cake you could do this with art you could do a cupcake now like this as well you know, it doesn't have to just be for Halloween. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full cure. And then I'm going to do this one with the matte top finish. Um, I I love inks matte top finished, matte top coated. Um, but I thought a lot, a, a lot of people like things glossy as well. So I'm trying to do things for everyone. I'm, I'm trying to be a people pleaser. So some of you will like glossy and some of you will like matte. So this is going to be a matte. In fact, I think this is the only one. okay so you want to make sure it's all covered which is what i was just looking for here because otherwise you'll end up with some shiny bits and some matte bits and you don't want that okay right now to add the drips we're gonna um the glitter we're gonna use the tack free finish and we're gonna add some glitter we're using hello ruby from nail sugar 
So I'm going to wipe off that tacky layer because we don't want that on the nails, otherwise the glitter will stick to the tacky layer. Okay, so look now, oh it goes amazingly matte now, I love it. I love that when you take off that tacky layer and it's just like, oh it's a matte nail underneath. Right, put a little bit of the tack free finish on a palette and then using a detailer brush, I'm using the nap mug, uh, the nail sugar nap mug detailer brush. I love this one, it's amazing. We're just going to, what's the word? We're just going to, what's the word, what, what are we doing? We're going over the drips with the top coat, that's what we're doing. So just gonna, yeah, just cover all of this and then I'll be back with, I'll be back in a minute. Then I like to use a glitter tray to catch the glitter. We're gonna sprinkle this into that uncured top coat. And you wanna make sure it's all covered. Tap off the excess and then pop that in the lamp to cure. Cure it for four minutes and then you know that it's properly set. Okay, and then I like to brush it off with my hard brush. And then that just gets all that excess glitter off. And then we're left with like glittery blood. <laughs> Spooky, but not really. <laughs> so I'm going to do one more. So we're left with these. My dog's barking at me. He wants to go out. I'll take you out in a minute. Let me just finish this. Um, okay, so the last one. I've got my nail ready here. I'm going to use... Um, I can't see... Pastel... Pastel... Pastel violet and lilac. Lilac's more purple. It's one of my favourites. This one, though, I find does... It's a little bit more tricky to move around after it's on. I think that's all right. I think that's... I don't know. Is that the right way? Anyway, I'm going to go in with... These aren't um, neons, but I just wanted to add a purple one because I think purple and Halloween... I, I When I think of Halloween, I always think... Um, the main colours I think of for Halloween are green, orange, red, purple and black green orange red purple and black yeah um so i wanted to add a purple one right if you can see i've got a little bit of cleanser on the end of my brush and i'm trying to remove the ink now i'm gonna do like a swirl Ooh, you know like you get you usually get them with black and white but i wanted to do it with the purple now you, i've seen this before i've seen some other people do this kind of thing i think there was a an inks course on Oh, someone done a free inks course and this was kind of this was one of the designs on that um so uh, you you probably will have seen this done before but i thought it was quite nice for halloween um so i'm just gonna go around the nail now this did take me a little while um because you can see I'm, I'm having to work at this one it was a it was a little bit of a booger um, so what I'm going to do is I will carry on going all the way around the nail. Can you see though we're starting to get the swirl now? You just have to work it. I mean some inks are a lot easier. The, the, they kind of just come off really nicely. This one I had to work at but it's worth it I think. I love it. Anyway right I'm going to just finish now and I will show you the end bit not the end but i'll show you it when i've gotten all the way around the nail Ta -da! <laughs> and on this one i decided to use the bling line white gel paint instead of the black one i'm going to go in with the white so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just follow the curves of the swirl I was trying to think what it was then i'm going to call it a swirl it reminds it's just like makes you kind of hypnot it's, it's a bit hypnotic, isn't it? Did you see that then? I, I paused. It's because I'm watching The Haunting of Bly Manor on Netflix. <laughs> I've actually nearly finished it. It's really good. I really like it. It's a bit sad. It's not that scary. But it's a little bit creepy in places. Um, but it's quite sad more than anything. 
Um, there's a sad story behind it. Anyway, just back to the nails. Right, I'm going to just follow the swooshy lines around and I'll get back to you in a second. I really like how this turned out. I thought it was pretty cool. Pop it in the lamp for a full cure. So 60 seconds in your bling line lamp. And then I thought, you know what? Again, we're going to do a glossy nail. So tack free finish. Make sure you cover the whole nail. I really like this one. I kind of want to wear this now, but my nails aren't long enough for this. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, pop it in the lamp. Make sure your sides are done. Pop it in the lamp for a full cure and I'll show you them all together. By the way, the tip of the orange swatch broke off, but I didn't want to waste it. So that's why it's not pointy like the others. <laughs> Anyway, this is them all together. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video. I can't believe it's nearly Friday. Okay, love you all. See you later. Bye.